What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead and do a discussion about Jesus and if he will take Negan out. Spoiler warning if you don't know the comics and what's highly likely to occur on the show in the second half of season seven, as we don't want to ruin it for you. But Jesus, Negan, will they fight? Here we go. So if you know the comics, you know March to War storyline. Gonna talk about issue 114 is the end of March to War into All Out War. And Jesus and Negan have a confrontation. Now, will they stick to it? Will Negan take him out? Will he just beat him up? Will he do whatever? So if you know the comics, definitely know what we're gonna talk about. So like I said, issue 114, it's the last part of March to War before All Out War, which will be season eight. And we're excited for it. Jesus, one of my favorite comic characters, he's a badass, and this will be the start of his badassness. Well, I guess continued, because we've seen a little bit of it where <laughs> Negan is gonna do another lineup and Jesus comes out of nowhere, talks some smack to Negan, and it's pretty, it's pretty awesome, and I can't wait and really hope that they put this in the show. And Jesus, Tom Payne, was on The Talking Dead, one of the last episodes of the first half of season seven, and we got him training, and we're gonna talk about that. We'll show the clip, actually, it's pretty cool. But like I said, Tom Payne has been training with a couple different people, but he was in Los Angeles and he was training with Stephen Ho, the guy who taught Morgan how to use the bow staff. He was in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the, the stunt acting part of Donatello in the 90s uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle videos. Pretty cool. Tom Payne training to kick some ass. Here we go. He's doing some training here. It's pretty funny. They did a like an 80s montage thing. So if you see Tom Payne laughing, it's because the the music that they portrayed in that too. But you know he's getting up there super slow mo, but he's got some good moves and he's being fast and efficient and quick and in and out. And that's what he's got to be kicking the bag and looks pretty nice. I'd love to see that kick on Negan. That's for sure. So like I said, the issue 114. Definitely check it out if you haven't and you want to see more about it. But Basically, he comes out of nowhere, kicks the crap out of Negan, and keeps him at gunpoint until, you know, more help arrives, Was is the whole point of it. Now, he doesn't kill Negan. He just kind of waits for backup to come, basically. And he, he I, I could see him going just like this. You know, season seven's been very comic-related, comic-esque, and portrayal of the comics to a T. So... Pretty awesome, and I just, I just love the lines here. Why the fuck hasn't someone shot you? Your soldiers suck. And <laughs> we haven't really seen the saviors do anything, so they could suck. You know, they've just been intimidating and bullying. They haven't really done anything, so that's a good point by Jesus. You know, there's just so many of them. And the apple doesn't fall too far. Thwap, frack, boom. He gets Lucille in the face. Pretty good. <laughs> awesome there too. And you'll see that Jesus, you know, takes him out, but then uses him as hostage, as a hostage against his guys. Nobody move, kind of puts him up like that too, where the saviors come and they try to take him out, but nothing happens. They don't fire anything at uh, Jesus. And I don't want to ruin it for you, but that's pretty cool like that too. So he, Tom Payne was vague in the interview saying like, do you think he's going to fight Negan or there are you, has he been training to do it? And he was like, well, it would be kind of great if it happened. I mean, we're fighting to take out walkers and that's pretty easy for Jesus. So if he has to fight people, we'll finally get to see that. You know, this has to happen. Come on. You know, he, but he can't say it. You know, he has to be coy. And, you know, that's why you'll get to see why I like Jesus. And Jesus isn't getting too much love. Tom Payne's not getting too much love like Daryl and Rick and Michonne and a couple other people. But hopefully this is the start of it, especially when he saves the group's ass here. You know, he's going to more Jesus is going to be good on the show for sure. Taking out some walkers. He's pretty hilarious. You know, he's kind of, he likes to help him whenever he stood up for Maggie and Sasha against Gregory. And be more of that coming forward. But I say he's got these little quips and these one liners like, okay, this escalated quickly. Like, so he's like going to fight through the walkers and take out everything there too. So, what do you think? Do you think Negan gets taken out by Jesus? And I don't think he, he doesn't kill him. That's for sure. That's for sure. But he does. I think season the season seven finale is going to be one of the best episodes of the season and probably top five of the series. 
from what I'm reading and what I'm hearing about it. Only time will tell, and it, it could let me down, but I have high hopes for it. So there you go, guys. Will Jesus take out Negan? Let us know. Post your comments below. Rise up. Check out the Walking Dead community page on Facebook. All are welcome. Check it out. Follow the group. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Spread the good word. Subscribe today to get more videos and post your comments below. Thanks, guys, and you guys are awesome.